All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And uh, peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and in sincerity. All right, in whatever way possible. All right, you know, to those I say sincerely, Shalom. Um, <clears throat> this lesson is going to be about, uh, you know, not not looking for those carnal rewards, you know, getting after these spiritual rewards, all right, and, uh, you know, I was just reading a few precepts, and, you know, just meditating on it, and, uh, Lord willing, um, you know, I just start it off, and I'll get more and more as the Spirit continues, but I'm going to start by reading Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 1, better is it to have no children, and to have virtue, for the memorial thereof is immortal, because it is known with the Most High and with men, all right, <laughs> and that virtue is like, a, a, you know, that character, characteristics, behavior showing high moral standards, you know, a quality considered morally good, you know, righteous, you know, it's another, it's like a synonym for righteous, all right, so you, you want to have that righteousness, you know, more than you do children, all right, uh, verse 2, when it is present, men take example at it, and when it is gone, they desire it. It weareth a crown, <laughs> and triumpheth uh, forever, having gotten the victory, striving f uh, for undefiled rewards. You know? You know, it, it, that's what is going to get you uh, that crown <laughs> in uh, Second Ezra, man. You know, this is uh, one of my favorite things to meditate on, you know. Um, yeah, Second Ezra uh, 2 and 43. I'll start at 42. It says, And I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. In the midst of them there is a young man of a high stature, taller than the rest. All right, that's talking about Yahweh Shai. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Alright, and it says, So I asked the angel, and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Alright, they receive those, uh, 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 they put on the immortal and they are crowned and receive palms just like you know wisdom of Solomon is saying it says uh, you know <laughs> the ones that have the virtue you know that have the righteousness and stand stiffly for the name you know and standing you know in great boldness they're the ones that uh, uh, <clears throat> it worth a crown and triumpheth forever having gotten the victory, striving for undefiled rewards, all right? All right, and then it goes on to say, but the multiplying brood of the ungodly shall not thrive, nor take deep root from bastard slips, nor lay any fast foundation. <laughs> you know, fast foundation, you know, that word fast, I go into that word fast a lot, it means like fastening, all right? Their foundation isn't rooted, all right? Uh, it says... For though thy, they flourish in branches for a time, yet standing not last, they shall be shaken with the wind, and through the force of the winds they shall be rooted out. Alright? <laughs> so, yeah, you, you might see like carnal rewards of the uh, wicked multiplying, but you know, if it's not, it doesn't have that, if it's not rooted in your house, then it's going to be rooted out, man. Um, this is Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, uh, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Uh, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, you know. 
and heart meaning you know your mind wherever your treasure is that's where your mind is going to be if you treasure in, in these laws, statutes and commandments that's where your mind is going to be meditating on this all right but if you're if you're trying to go after you know um any carnal lust you're just going to be constantly meditating on it. you know where that's going to lead you onto death man Uh, let's go to the 11th chapter. Let's see. Yeah, let's go to verse 18. It says, um, there is that waxeth rich by his uh, warness and uh, pinching, and this uh, is the portion of his reward. Whereas he saith, I have found rest, and now will eat continually of my goods, and yet he knoweth not what time shall come upon him, and that he must leave those things to others and die. <laughs> so, you know, these people that are, you know, just trying to go after the dollar and, you know, uh, save up for a bunker or you know and, and store all these uh, crops and under their in their basement so they can just eat it <laughs> it says that uh, and yet he knoweth not what time shall come upon him Jacob's trouble and that he must leave those things to die uh, to others you know the elect and die so they're gonna die and leave all of what they you know work towards for the righteous all right says be steadfast in thy covenant and be concert and be conversant therein and wax old in thy work all right not just you know phys like working for esau that's talking about working for the lord marvel not at the works of sinners but trust in the lord and abide in thy labor for it is an easy thing in the sight of the lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich you know it's an easy thing for you know for the Lord to just give, uh, uh, you know, what you need, you know. Uh, it says the blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly. And suddenly he maketh his blessing flourish. You know, suddenly, all right. Because when you go into the scriptures, you know, <laughs> it talks about the sudden destruction of Esau and the sudden rise of Israel, all right. And that's what we got to meditate on. You know, we got to meditate on enduring until the end. All right. Because if you start meditating on, you know, whatever blessings, uh, you know, or carnal blessings in this society, those are going to destroy you. Let's go to that. Uh, you ask in your lust. Yeah. This will be the chapter. Um, James chapter 4, I'll start at 2, it says, You lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain, ye fight in war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. So you have, you know, Jake's in society, you know, they, they're just constantly, you know, chasing it, and, you know, the curses are on them. And they, they don't receive because they don't turn to the Lord and ask for it. And then it goes on to say, verse 3, Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. You know, so you do have Jake's that you know do turn to the Lord and ask for you know financial gain or whatever, but it says you don't receive it because you want to consume it upon your own lust. All right, you know you you don't you don't want, really want that for the spiritual gain, because really how how does more women and more money uh, gonna draw you closer to, you know, Yahweh Bashem Shai. Is it gonna, if, if, you know, the Lord gives you more money, is it gonna, uh, free you up, um, uh, is it gonna free more time for you to, you know, get into the, uh, um, uh, scriptures more? Is it gonna free more time for you to, you know, go chase after, you know, more lust that you have? Um, let's see. Let's go back to, let's see, was that it on that? Yeah, I'm going to keep reading. Uh, 
It says, uh, let's see, I already read that one. Verse 22, the blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly, and suddenly he maketh his blessings flourish. Say not, what profit is there of my service, and what good things shall I, I have hereafter? Again, say not, I have enough and possess many things, and what evil shall I have hereafter? You know, because we know what, what's coming, Jacob's trouble. And we also know the reward that's going to be given unto us. Because then Peter asked Yahweh Shai, uh, what shall, uh, let's see, we, we have forsaken all. Yeah, Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter, or let's see, let's go down here. Uh, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh said unto him, unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, <laughs> when the uh, Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. So we know the reward. We, you know, when we, we're catching all this hell. We, we've, we, we stop chasing, you know, after the worldly stuff. So we know the reward, you know. How Bashim al Shai has revealed these things to us. But not only... It is you know the carnal thing is going to come after but we're getting those spiritual rewards all right we're getting that wisdom that virtue um come on let's get this uh proverbs 8 and 11 let's see damn let's get this Proverbs 3 and 15, she is more precious than rubies, and all things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. And that she and her right here is talking about wisdom, right? Is far more precious than any uh, emerald, stones, rubies, you know, anything that you can desire, man. Proverbs 8 and 11, for wisdom is better than rubies, and all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it, you know? The reason why that is is because, you know, the, the, those characteristics are the true uh, um, golden rubies of a person, all right? Because there, there's wicked men that ha that possess, you know, financial gains, that possess lands and rubies and cattle and, and servants, all right? Oh, shit. What's that? Ecclesiasticus 9, yeah. Let's go to verse 21. All right, Ecclesiasticus 9, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 9, verse 21. Oh, that's not all right. It's chapter 10, Slakia. Ecclesiasticus 10 and uh, 21. Um, yeah, it says, The fear of the Lord goeth before the obtaining of authority, <laughs> but roughness and pride is a losing thereof. You know, so I mean, you should fear the Lord before you want authority, before you want, you know, those carnal gains. Uh, but roughness and pride is a losing thereof, you know, because when you get prideful, that's when, the, you know, scriptures say that <laughs> pride is an abomination before the Lord. You know, the, he's real clear about how he feels about pride. It says, whether he be rich, noble, or poor, neither glory their, like you, their glory is a fear of the Lord, you know? So, I mean, it doesn't matter if you know, a righteous man, if he's poor, if he's, you know, middle class, or he's got a lot. The glory is a fear of the Lord. It says, it is not meet to desire, to despise the poor man that hath understanding. Neither is it convenient to magnify a sinful man. Great men and judges and uh, potentates, let's see what that means a monarch or ruler, 
uh, especially a, uh, an autocratic one. Uh, it says, you know, all these men um, shall be honored, yet is there none of them greater than he that feareth the Lord. <laughs> you know, so if you got a righteous man that fears the Lord, you know, that's upright, you know, has that wisdom, and he, he's real uh, humble about it, you know, he's freely gi given to it, and he freely gives, you know. He's greater than, you know, any great man that walks the earth. Says unto this, and unto the servant that is wise shall they that are free to uh, free do service, and he that hath knowledge will not grudge when he is reformed. Um, let's see. Let's jump down to verse thirty. It says, "A poor man is honored for his skill, and a rich man is honored for his riches. He that is honored in poverty, how much more in riches?" And he that is dishonorable in riches, how much more in poverty, you know? So, I mean, you know, if, if, <laughs> and, and the ones that fear the Lord, the servants of the Lord, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're, uh, you know, we're considered in poverty right now. And if we're honored doing this, you know, the, the Lord looks down on our works and, and he honors that man. So how much more when when he does bestow uh, uh, carnal blessings upon us, we're going to be exalted even more. And he that is dishonorable in riches, Esau, the wicked, you know, they got the whole world by the tail. <laughs> and people hate them motherfuckers. How much more when, they, when they're stricken with poverty? So with that, I hope this video was edifying. And uh, shallow one.